大家好，我是罗夏。那这一期呢，接着陪大家来看教程。这一期呢，我们还是选择了啊、呃，这个摄影师啊，这有他的 YouTube 的订阅号，感兴趣同学可以去看。那这一期呢，他拍摄了一个小电器，注意哦，他这一期只用了一个灯去做，去完成了这个小产品的拍摄。但是呢，他用到了合成，他会有三张照片的合成去处理产品的不同的面然后呢，他用到了三种的反光器或者遮光器啊，有。镜子啊，他但就是他没找到镜，他用了一把刀啊，对，一把不锈钢的反呃菜刀，然后呢还有一个 K T 板，还有一个黑卡纸去做遮光的处理，去塑造产品的体积感，还是比较有趣的一个小案例啊。毕竟是一个单灯拍摄，但是把它的光影感、体积感塑造的这么好啊，材质表现的这么好，所以呢，我们现在就呃话不多说，来看教程。One flash. Is this on? Ah, 只用了一个闪光灯 Okay. There we go. This is the reason why it was a bit dark in the beginning. Because I need to expose this. Because I need to have this on full whack. Because I will use the guide light when I building up the different light sources. To 方便观察光源 Why it's so powerful? Let's shut off this flash. Because this is the only flash we're using. And let's take the first shot, blue screen, perfect. Ah, he here first takes a full screen picture, and then in Capture One, it shows full screen can be used by color to represent the no reflection. No reflection. If I turn off this warning in Capture One Pro, it's completely black. And now we can start to build up this photograph. So I will turn on the flash again. What's going on here? Well, this is a kitchen worktop, and it's around forty euros. Ah, it's this wooden floor. Wooden floor is a kitchen workshop. I think it's called Ekbacken. I'm not one hundred percent sure. And then we have what do we have? We have the Canon Fire D Mark IV. The cable. Ah, used a Canon 5D4. Then we need to capture one tethered. So the images will go into the computer. Today I have an 85 millimeter lens, 1.2 Canon. And did I say it's a 5D Mark IV? Yes. And on this side, this is a Pro Photo Flash. It's a D2. Used a Pro Photo second lens. A long lens. And it shoots. Into this diffusion from the savage transfer medium, and it shoots on this little guy. So let's take the first shot. What do we get? We get this beautiful from the start. Let me talk a bit about aperture. Right now, we have we're shooting in manual mode as always. This camera maximum shutter sync speed, flash sync. Flash, and then I put up to ISO 200, and at aperture 16. Aperture 16. Why did I choose? He chose a 16. This is the only thing you are choosing when you're shooting stuff. You know, this is when you decide how much sharpness you like to have in the picture. Ah, 光圈可以控制景深 Also, actually, a bit, but I mean from the let me demonstrate this. Let me set the aperture, the biggest aperture, one point two. Uh, one point two. If I push now, the flash power will be too powerful, of course. Of course, this time we will have to lower the power. So now we are down to one point two. If you see the difference, it is completely blurry. Almost unreal, and now I set the focus. Ah, this is the focus part. Looks like it's here on the power button, so that actually makes Philips. In the focus part, the focus part is the focus part. Everyone can see the logo part is starting to fade out. Everyone can see the logo part is starting to fade out. Everyone can see the logo part is starting to fade out. Everyone can see the logo part is starting to fade out. Everyone can see the logo part is starting to fade out. Everyone can see the logo part is starting to fade out. Everyone can see the logo part is starting to fade out. Everyone can see the logo part is starting to fade out. Everyone can see the logo part is starting to fade out. Everyone can see the logo part is starting to fade out. Everyone can see the logo part is starting to fade out. Everyone can see the logo part is starting to fade out. Everyone can see the logo part is starting to fade out. Everyone can see the the, the the kitchen, the kitchen worktop as sharp as possible. 
the strip box. I'm placing it so it's shooting straight on this product. Or oh, actually, it shoots a bit in front, so that's why this part becomes a bit dark. It's touching this, this, this bright edge. Coming a bit dark. This is also totally dark and it hits here. And uh, why do I have this savage? Is it really necessary? Um, the only so reason this is why this, there is two reasons. It's like curved. You see on this camera, maybe it's like curved, so it creates like if you look at the picture, it's uh, almost like a vignette because otherwise. It will be bright to dark. I want it to be dark on this side a bit. Evenly lit background. By the way, the is it savage? No, it's uh Kalurama. Kalurama. Not savage, the other one. Yeah, uh, it's mineral. Gray. It's I think it's not so normal gray. The other is the is the 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 Yes, you see here. All the shiny areas. Uh, this part is shiny, then it becomes like a hard edge. And also here, this is just a reflection of the. And I don't think it looks that nice. It's not important to show that this button is shiny. Be darker background and soften up. The shiny parts. So, what's next? Well, this side is a bit dark, so I think we should. I will place it here somewhere. And I will look at the camera angle, and see when it can be placed. I'm just looking, maybe around there. Let's take a shot and see what it does. I love this, that it's a dark edge. See, before, 呃，手柄的毛发部分的结构纹理被很好的体现了出来，整个面也亮了起来。呃，from this side, I mean from this to this, this is the reflection from the strip box in onto this foam board and into this area. And here we get a nice gradient, and this is super nice gradient, gradient, and this texture comes out. 纹理也表现了出来。This grip, uh, what do we get more? We get a bit light here, not that much, but tiny bit. The goal here is to make this object three-dimensional, so it's not super-dimensional. And we have very nice gradients. So the whole area of the frame is supposed to have a nice gradient to show it. I wish we didn't see this. I move the foam board a bit. Yeah, it's okay. We could stop. Can you adjust the angle? Of course. Very beautiful. But I would like to do one more thing. I wish that the left side would have would be a bit darker. I would like it to have this. A dark rim like the right side. So let's do that with a black. What I think 
we also should do, we should brighten up some parts. And where, where is my, I need, because this light's very far away, because today we only work with one flash, so it needs to travel also through the and it should bounce back some light, but not with, especially on the dark parts, if we would like to brighten them up, it's not enough with the white foam board, then we need a mirror. Uh, maybe I can... Uh, made in China. Perfect. So reflect some nice light. Maybe on the top. I'm just testing out to see if something is happening here. Ah, there is something going on. Ah. Maybe this one. Oh, look at that. All oh, this getting a very nice rim. Is there something more we can do? I think the top, the black top. Here, you can use a mirror, or like this, find a low brightness thing. Or use a mirror with a colored card. Ah, to find brightness is possible. Get a bit light on the side. Somehow, just find the right angle. What I'm doing is this one. This is what this knife reflects. Bouncing from this, boom, boom, and into this. Because before, it's completely dark. So it can be nice to have a bit there. Yes, let's, let's keep that one. Now we have the main one, we also have the black rim on the left side and one from the top, like rims on all this, on the top area. One light, coming from the side, taking care of almost everything in the image. And then we just add a bit, brighten up stuff, the main is this foam board. To get a bit of brightness on the, on the left side there, on the, on the right side, I mean. So, guys, that's it for today. Very simple, but a very. Uh,主要在于说通过一盏灯，然后用不同的反光器，不管你是镜子、你是刀、你是银色的卡纸，还是一块普通的白色的黑地板，去进行结呃结构光的塑造，然后呢，还通过了黑卡板去加深了这个。黑边去更加体现它的结构通过光线